Hi, this is ASX Options and this is Jonathan speaking. Today we're going to talk about what options are. So the key idea is that an option is a contract which gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset or instrument at a specified strike price prior to or on a specified date. So that's really wordy and that's the exact definition. So we're going to try and break that down a little bit. So essentially, what is it? It's an agreement to maybe buy or sell something at a given price at a specified time in the future. That's all it is, an agreement. And the key idea is that there's a premium that's required. Okay, so you have to pay a premium to enter this agreement and it's full of flexibility. So you'll see what I mean here when we move on to this example. So the scenario is buying a house. Let's picture you've just found your dream home, okay? And the seller would like to charge 500,000 for the transaction, okay? So you found the perfect house, you couldn't imagine living anywhere else, great neighborhood, etc. What are some of the ways that we could go around purchasing this house? So we could enter a spot transaction or a cash transaction, and this is where we agree on the terms, the price, and we exchange money for the goods. So this is a very typical transaction. And this is what happens when you buy stock. So when you buy stock, you agree at a price and you deliver cash in exchange for the delivery of stock from the seller. So let's think about another way that we could purchase this house. Perhaps we want some kind of flexibility. Maybe we don't have all the cash right now to pay, to pay for it. So we could enter this thing called a Ford contract. And this is an agreement to buy the house, let's say, in one year's time, for 500000 So what that does, that gives us flexibility. Um, that means we don't have to pay the full price right now. And um, I guess it can protect us against market movements. So let's say that the house can appreciate in one year's time. It could be worth more than 500000 So that, mean, that means that it would be good for the buyer. But if the market conditions are worse in one year's time, that means that the seller would be best off. So each party can go into this transaction, right, having different benefits that they'd like to get. So let's think of an, another example here, a scenario. What say that our boss has just told us that in one year's time, we might have to use, move across the other side of the world, okay? So in one year's time, we have to move across the other side of the world. So we don't know if we can buy this house or not. But again, it's our dream house. So if we were staying in the country, we'd really like to buy it. So what can we do with this uncertainty? Well, here's where an options contract could be used. So this is a contract, right, to have the option to buy the house in one year for the specified price, 500000 And that means in one year's time, we would get to decide whether we were going to buy or not to buy. Now, to get this flexibility though, we're going to have to pay a premium. And that premium in this example is $20,000 for the contract. So the seller would get the $20,000 now, and in a year's time, we may or may not decide to buy the house at which time we would have to hand over the 500000 and the seller would give us the deeds of the house. So let's move on. Why, why would you want to use an option in the financial markets at least? Well, one of the reasons is to hedge risk. So let's say that you've purchased 100 BHP shares today. So how do you protect yourself against losses? So I say, I say protect yourself against losses because if you've bought stock, you want the shares to rise, you're long. So you would lose money if the share price falls. So let's say you've entered 100 shares here and we want to protect ourselves against that price decline. We're going to enter this contract called a put option, okay? And we won't discuss what that is now because we'll talk about that in later tutorials. But we're going to enter this put option. And what happens is if the share price declines, then this put option is actually going to increase in value. So the result is that even though the shares are going to decrease in value, the hedge contract is actually going to increase in value. 
And the aim with any good hedge is that you kind of want to have a neutral exposure. So at the end of the day, you don't really matter if the, sh you know, the share's going up or going to go down. So the other reason that we might like to use options is for speculations, okay? So to bet on the market moves in a direction for volatility. And again, we'll get into this further in further lectures. So the hedge is essentially we don't have an underlying contract anymore. We just have this put option contract. And if the share price goes down, then we're going to profit from that. So essentially we're just betting that the share price is going to go down and we're going to get a profit. So, in summary, what are options? They're a contract to buy or sell something at a given price in the future. The key point is that a premium must be paid to enter this contract to get all the flexibility. And why do we care? Well, this can be a great way to hedge risk or for speculation. So, thank you very much, guys, for listening. And this is ASX Options. Please join us for our next video.